yeah, YouTubers, Tazman here, and I'm bringing you a new first look. Uh, we're doing a first look on Space Colony. This is a game by Firefly Studios, and it's been remastered, or whatever you want to say, with higher graphics than the original one, and put onto the onto Steam so you can actually get it on Steam normally it's $14.99 but right now it is 15% off so you can actually get it for $12.74 uh, until May 7th of 2015 if you're watching this way 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 in the future <laughs> um, anyway uh, like I said this is a game by Firefly Studios and I was sent a key for it so I wanted to do a first look and let you guys check it out so uh, when you launch the game, you'll end up in a screen just like this. Actually, there's one just before this where you can create your profile or your username or identity, whatever you want to call it. But here we have our options of Advanced editors feature. where we can create our own campaigns and we can create our own planets, which is pretty cool. We have our settings. We have the tutorial, which I think we're going to do the tutorial just to walk you through uh, how to do things. Uh, and maybe... Uh, we'll go as far as we can for about 20 minutes and then we'll call it good just to give us an idea of the game. Then you have play. Here you have the story mode uh, where you follow Venus Jones, which is this girl right here. Um, the story of her and her team. Galaxy mode. Become space tourism tycoon or clean by your fingernails to bug infested rocks. In galaxy mode, you decide your own course. And we have Sandbox, the plan is here to allow you to build freely in conditions of your own choosing. And then we have User Created, this is part of the Steam Workshop, you can user click on created this maps. and find maps that other people have made. And then you can load games. So we're not going to, because you start out and it's just uh, a little bit too much information, we're actually going to start just with the tutorial. So as you can see, Welcome to Space Colony. Tutorial. This tutorial will teach you the basics of colony life. You can leave at any time by clicking on the options icon highlighted above. All right. This is the inside of the bridge. Here you control the base's power, oxygen, and medical facilities. Okay. This is the oxygen pumping facility. When an operative is working on the control desk, oxygen will flow into your base. Okay, so those two are linked. This is a solar power collector. When an operative is working the desk, power will flow into the base. The biodome is a large interior space into which you place the furniture and facilities that enable your colonists to survive in space. Let's Personal shuttle arrive. That spaceship contains Venus, our heroine. You better treat this girl right. Out of all the social misfits you are going to meet in this story, she is the one who just might get you through it all. A new opportunity has arrived. Operating Venus. Your base currently has plenty of oxygen, but your power is getting a little low. Hello. You need to tell Venus to go and work at the power desk. Left click on Venus, and then left click on the power desk. So. There you can see it's assigning Venus. It says Venus and the little arrow to the power. Now also to pull up the thing that shows you all your stuff, you can click this or you can hit the space bar I found. Mm-hmm. So now you can see she her primary okay, job. Let's take a look power. at the effect of Venus's hard work. We need to go to the bridge screen. Left click on the bridge button. Or hit the space bar. That's better. Your power bar is now rising. Great, we now have some power stored. To leave the bridge, click on the bridge button again, or press the right mouse button. I am so sleepy. Oh, Venus is tired. Perhaps she would like somewhere to lay down. Maybe. <laughs> left click on the bed icon. Now left click on the picture of the bed, bed. and move your cursor over the biodome. When the bed appears in the dome, left click again to place it. Great, now we need to assign Venus to the bed you placed. Left click on Venus, then left click again on the bed. Okie dokes. While Venus walks to the bed, let's take a look at one of her needs. In this case, her need for sleep. Once she lays down on the bed, we should see it start to rise. 
While Venus is dealing with her need for sleep, let's see what effect these needs have on her, and consequently on your ability to run the base. A colonist's happiness rating is the key to the game. It tells us how long they will work for us. It is translated into their work shift as shown by the colored section of the work clock. Okay, so the green, and now it's yellow. While the clock hand is in the colored area, she will go and work for us. When it is outside of that area, she will tend to her personal needs. Now, let's try to increase her happiness. I happen to know she likes to dance, so let's place a disco for her. Okay. Left click on the entertainment icon. Now, left click on the picture of the disco and move your cursor over the bio dome. When the disco, disco. appears in the dome, left click again to place it. Now, left click on Venus, then left click on the disco to send her there. Consider it done. She's supposed to be at work though. While Venus is in the disco doing her thing, her fun bar will fill up. Like all of Venus's needs, her fun bar feed. Great, we have successfully dealt with Venus's need for fun, which in turn has increased her happiness a little and boosted her work shift. She will now be a slightly more productive worker for us. Let's look at some of the other areas that affect Venus's happiness. This is Venus's salary bar. From time to time, she will go to a cash machine and withdraw her salary. You can set her salary level in the bridge. So it looks like as she's happier, this bar actually gets closer to that bar, meaning she'll work longer. Uh, the sadder she gets, the worse she gets. So let's send her to the banking machine. Oh, whoops, have to this is Venus's social interaction bar. It can get lonely in space, and to maintain their sanity, operatives need to talk to a human face. This bar fills up when an operative talks to one of their friends. Be warned, however, sending an operative to talk to a colonist with whom they have a bad relationship will have negative consequences. Okay, negative consequences. This is the food bar. The more hungry Venus becomes, the more of a negative effect this bar will have on her happiness. A colonist's need for personal hygiene is easily dealt with by placing a shower block. This is Venus's health bar. If Venus gets injured or sick, this bar will fall and again, like all of Venus's other needs, the lower the bar, the less happy she will be. If her bar were to empty completely, she would die. So let's try to avoid that. And close. Okay. I'm gonna go crazy if I don't speak to someone soon. Venus could really use someone to talk to. So we will bring down our next operative, Operative Stig. Personal shuttle arriving. Yo, Stig, what up, dog? <laughs> A new operative has arrived. Operative Stig. To get Venus to talk to Stig, left click on Venus and then left click on Stig. Ah, there you are. Stig and Venus are now going to meet each other. The simple friendly greeting between them may not seem much, but it really helps both their needs for social interaction. Can't click on her. Hey. Good to see you. I want to eat. Next, they're going to need some food, especially Stig. He has a star next to his food need. This means that food is more important to him and will have a bigger effect on his happiness than his other needs. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, to find a source of food for our small team, we must explore the planet a little. To scroll the map, push the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. I said I could scroll that way and that way. You can also use the A, S, D, and W keys and the arrows. That's what I'm using. Now, to see more of the map, we need to place a light. Left click on the engineering icon. Now left click on the picture of the light and move your cursor over the planet. Light. When the light appears on the planet, it is at a valid location to place it. Left click to place a light and explore the area around your base. Keep placing lights until you find some hydromorphous plants. What those things are? I think so. Great, you found some. Oh. This is local vegetation that can be harvested for food. 
To harvest it, you need to place a nutrient extractor. Left click on the industry icon. Okay. Now left click on the picture of the nutrient extractor and move your cursor over the planet. When the nutrient, nutrient extractor extracted. appears, left click again to place it. A good strategy would be to place it close to the hydromorphous plants. Now that we have an extractor placed, let's get Stig to work operating it. Left click on Stig, then left click on the extractor. You're the boss. Stig is now walking to work. When he gets there, he will jump into the cab and use the harvester robot to go and chop down one of those strange plants. Stig is now working the harvester robot. When a robot gets to a plant, it will chop it to pieces with its chainsaw arms, then vacuum it up and take it back to the extractor facility, where Stig can process it into valuable nutrients for our colonists to eat. A unit of nutrients has now been produced. In a short while, a warehouse droid will fly over to collect it. Now that we have some nutrients, we need to place a mess hall so Venus and Stig have a place to eat. Left click on the living space icon. Now, Left click on the picture of the mess hall and move your cursor mess over hall. the biodome. When the mess hall appears in the dome, left click again to place it. In a second or two, a warehouse droid will deliver our nutrients to the mess hall, which will in turn produce food. Well, sort of. I wouldn't <laughs> eat it myself. Venus and Stig are hungry, so they will automatically go and eat. You can also tell an operative to eat by selecting them, then clicking on the mess hall. Okay, I think... Don't we need a bed for Stig? Run! Uh, oh dear. Aliens have just been picked up on the military radar and are heading our way. We may soon have to defend ourselves. What are you waiting for? Why aren't you preparing the base defenses? <laughs> oh. It seems to have been a false alarm, and it's only a few harmless rodents. If you want to see some real aliens, you'll have to wait until a little bit later in the story, when you can choose to go and fight on some bug-infested planets. Before we finish this tutorial, there is one more important area of the game we need to look at, personal relationships. Venus and Stig can only fulfill their social interaction bar if they talk to a friend. Now, let's see if Venus and Stig are friends, and then we can work on improving their relationship a little. First, we need to place an area for them to talk. Click on now, click on the picture of it, select your social area type, style, and color, and then click on the place button. Now, left click somewhere in the biodome to place your social area. Let's have them face each other. Oh, you can't really pick this thing, can you? Hey, hey. Stupid rodent. Now, left click on Venus. The heart symbol is her relationship icon. Click on it. As we can see, Stig is already a friend. But let's click on him anyway to improve Venus and Stig's relationship. Sounds Venus and Stig will now go and sit down in that social area you placed earlier and talk through their differences, which will improve their friendship greatly. As you play through the game, you will need to check on relationships occasionally. As left untended, they tend to deteriorate. We could use a little more food, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if this keeps up, I might be able to retire early. Well, perhaps. Gotta think of something to make this place look better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Congratulations, you've finished the tutorial. We'll leave you now to explore the controls a little more on your own. Don't forget, you can exit at any time by clicking on the options icon. Oh, and look. I think we should get a sticky bed.
Building is on shift. Placed here. Building cannot be placed here. <laughs> nice dig. <laughs> You're the boss. Nice bed. All right, so there we have it. Cool. I did play a little bit, um, and it definitely has a lot of potential. Looks pretty fun. Um, although I'm kind of stuck <laughs> on a level. Power oh, efficiency, sixty percent. My edge screen scroll doesn't work down. And, uh, wait, it works. Oh, it works up. Going down. Okay, interesting. So anyway, there you go, guys. Um, you can end up building a really big colony. Eventually, you have uh, little bugs and stuff that you have to fight. Uh, okay, let the go, Stig. Put the dogs on the sled. Here we go. So now you see Skyrim, so he'll actually work a lot longer. Um. Yeah, it's pretty good. So let's go ahead. We'll quit the tutorial. And when you start out, um, you actually start out with quite a few. I'm not going to spoil any more of it, uh, but uh, check it out. Um, like I said, it's only $12.74 until May 7th. But even 15 bucks for a game, $14.99 for a game, not that bad. And it's fun, has an editor so you can make your own levels. So, you know, endless game replay and stuff. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click a, the thumbs up button down below. Click the like button. Um, aside from that, comment and subscribe. And until next time, and follow me on Twitter, of course. <laughs> until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye. You thought I was gone, didn't you? I forgot something. Uh, if you would like to see me do a Let's Play of this, uh, where we actually go through Venus's story or whatever, uh, be sure to comment down below. Let me know that you're interested and leave a like. For sure, leave a like, please. Helps me tremendously on YouTube. If you don't want to, go ahead, you can leave a comment uh, stating that. All right, guys, that's all for real this time. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you in the game later if you want me to. Uh, let's play it. So I still have to say it. It just feels wrong if I don't. So until next time, I'll be see you later again. Bye.